the East Coast Oak Reviews today. We're taking a look at another Samuel Adams beer. This is their Porch Rocker. It's a Lemon Rattler. It's another beer, part of their uh, Beers of Summer variety pack. 4.5% alcohol by volume, 8 IBUs. It says seasonal right on the bottle. On Beer Advocate, score on Beer Advocate. 76 for OK. Style is a fruit and field beer. ABV 4.5% from Boston Beer Company, also known as Samuel Adams, out of Massachusetts, United States. Availability is rotating slash seasonal, so like the uh, summer months. Got to crack this open, go over the color. Got my Samuel Adams Perfect Pour Glass. My Samuel Adams bottle opener matches the pour glass. And uh, yeah, let's go for the pour, check out the appearance of this one. Clear golden color, it's got a little bit of a chill haze. Yeah, super clear golden color. Decent amount of bubbles, not much of a head. About a half a finger of uh, white head, looks like it's actually going away pretty quick. Um, looks like it might leave a nice lacing on the glass though. Nose on this one. Very sweet and citrusy. Malty, white bread, it's like grassiness, it's got like a lemon lime, kind of like a, uh, like a Sprite, not as sweet as a Sprite, but definitely very sugary on the nose, still pretty sweet for a beer in my opinion, nothing offensive. Smells pretty good. It has kind of a light aroma. Um, you're really not getting much bread. Like I said, a little grassy. For the most part, you just get the sweet lemon and lime. Let's go for the taste. It pretty much tastes like watered down Sprite to me, in my opinion. It's not bad, like I said. Lemon, lime, citrus flavor up front. Very sweet. Actually, nice prickly carbonation, like medium to high carbonation. A little bit of a maltiness. Slightly bready. A little bit of like a grassy finish. Um, super crushable. If you guys like lemon lime soda, I think you would really like this. Um, it is really sweet, though. I mean, it's nothing amazing. If you want something that you can sit outside on, like, a hot summer day, and you want something that you can crush, I think this would be a pretty good beer. This just seems like a good chugging beer. It's really not that bad. Um... It's not great. Like I said, just a little bit of like a citrusiness. Uh, light mouthfeel. A little bit of breadiness. A little grassy. Um, Cyclops scale, sweetness. This is like a, I'd say like three and a half out of five sugar cubes. It's definitely got a lot of sweetness. And like one and a half out of five uh, hop cones. It's got a little bit of a grassiness, even though the IBUs are low. It's not bitter, it just has kind of like a floral, kind of grassy finish, in my opinion. Finish is kind of short. Just left with like a citrus sweetness that lingers for like a little bit and then it dies out. I do like the carbonation though. It makes it even more crushable. For a rating, I'll give this one like a, I'll give it a 70. With that being said, um, the variety pack, I do recommend the variety pack. I've actually had the summer ale. I was surprised that I didn't already do a review on this one. Um, 
So I reviewed all the beers of summer. Wait, actually, I think there's one that I haven't done. The Beach Session IPA. So never mind, scratch that. Wait, unless that was from... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was from the... Uh... Let me pull up the variety pack. But yeah, I know uh, the variety pack, the Beers of Summer, was pretty good. Let me pull it up. I'm getting confused with the sweater weather one. So sorry. There's a squirrel running around outside. It's a rainy day today. I was gonna go fishing, but unfortunately had to sit inside because of the rain. Um, get some stuff done around the house. Okay, so yeah, I've reviewed the summer ale. I'm actually gonna do a revisit revisit on that one. Poor Trocker reviewing now. Yeah, the Beach Session IPA was the only one that I haven't reviewed yet. Um, but so far, this variety pack's pretty good. Poor Trocker, not bad. Like I said, if you want like a nice sweet citrusy, um, slightly tart on the finish beer. I think you would really enjoy this. That tartness does kind of add to the drinkability of the beer. Um, and the Lawn Chair Lager, which I actually really enjoy too. This one, in my opinion, it doesn't really taste much like beer. It tastes more like lemon-lime soda. Like, really watered-down lemon-lime soda. Um, so that's why I'm going to give it that 70. Um... But the variety pack, I do recommend picking up if you want. If you're someone who drinks light beers, uh, I think maybe you could branch off into this. If you want to get something maybe like for like a party or something, if you're having like a little cookout, I think you might enjoy these. Uh, they're not filling, um, besides the uh, the beet session IPA. Like I have, like I said, I haven't tried that one yet, so I don't know if that one's filling enough. But the summer, the porch rocker, and the lawn chair lager. We're all great for summer days um, if you're sitting out in the hot sun. And uh, like I said, if you're someone who normally drinks light beer and you want to switch it up and you want to try something more on the craft beer style, these are kind of like craft beer. Um, I say kind of because they're very light and they don't like this one doesn't really taste much like beer, um, but it's just different. It's uh, a nice difference from drinking like Miller Lite, Coors Light. Um, so I think you might enjoy it. That is if the sweetness doesn't get to you too much. Um, so overall, I think the variety pack's really good. If you can find this as a single, I'd recommend trying it as a single as well. I do believe that they do six packs of these. But I would definitely say I'd recommend picking up a single first. If you can get a single over a six pack. Just because the sweetness, in my opinion, is a little, uh, is a little too much. Um, but some people like that sweetness. And that's why uh, it's drinkable for a lot of people who don't normally drink craft beer. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel, definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool videos. Like your beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.